Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pubs are here, welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. In today's video, we are actually going to be going over how this recent newswire is wasn't what GTA community was, you know, expecting on this Friday as they thought we were going to be getting something about GTA 5 expanded and enhancing. And we're going to be going over that whole newswire on Rockstar, what they actually post, and so much more. So let's get right into today's video. So hopefully everyone is having a happy Saturday with their family or friends on this weekend of time of off work and stuff like that. Well, as you know, the previous video I actually made, I actually told you guys that we might get a big announcement coming from Rockstar Games on that Friday, which would have been February 18th, because Rockstar unpinned any other tweets on their Twitter account. Again, that was coming from Morse Mutual. Uh, again, he noticed that on Twitter, and he posted it, and he said, Okay, guys, there's no one pin tweet. We have to watch out again. And again, a lot of people were unalarmed about this and have been watching the newswire. But again, when I actually got done making that video, I went on their Twitter page. And funny enough, they actually pinned uh, like the recent newswire from the event week on Thursday. So again, when I'm recording today's video, there is nothing pinned. Now, well, I should say there is something pinned. So, again, when I looked at it yesterday or, like, Thursday, and I was like, okay, we're going to be getting something big. Well, when I saw there was nothing, well, there's something pinned, I was like, okay, our chances of getting something are very slim now. But what Rockstar did yesterday on Friday was really make the fans mad because, again, they did post a new newswire, but it was nothing about either GTA 5 Expand Enhanced Edition of the game, which we are like days away now, almost into March, or the GTA 6, which they actually confirmed. This newswire was about the Circo Local Records and NEZ present CRL002, which is a new three-track hip-hop and house EP coming February 25th, which actually is going to be this upcoming week. And the Newswire said, Circle Lurko Records and NEZ present CRL002, the next EP released from our collaborative record label project with Night Live Circle Loco arrives on Friday, February 25th. This genre blending tune features producer NEZ and some very special guests including GT alum, Moody Man, 3Z Mafias, Gangsta Booms, and longtime collaborator CSE Hulabio Q, if I'm saying his name right. And said one half of the production of DOZ and Rio, responsible for by hitting the tracks, CEO Hula will be Q Man of the Year, may it be Rocky Lord Pri Laco Judy T. And he has some crave unique lands for himself, drawing inspiration for him hometown Chicago and the sounds of style Los Santos. Los Angeles, sorry about that. Blending house hip hop, RB, and electro elements in a sound of all his own, moving between genres and scenes with ease. NEZ has worked with artists ranging from Flex, D, Holocast, London, AEP, and many more across the musical spectrum. It concludes this. This EP includes a trio of tracks that G209 players might recognize from both the contract and the Los Santos tuners, including Iwana, which can be found on a, a collectible media stick during the contract and played back in the game via the radio, Hills Media Player. Long slide with it, let's get it with Sia Julio. Boy Q, which soundtracked the recent short trips with Franklin and Mar Trail and lives on radio, Los Santos and Freaks featuring Moody Man and Gangsta Boo, first headed in the trailer of Los Santos Tuners. So basically that is that guys, again the music that you have seen from Los Santos and the contract DLC are now coming on a label that you're probably going to be able to find on Spotify or Apple Music for an example and again I know there's a lot of like rap terms in there with different artists but again this music is in real life in uh, you know GTA 5 online but when fans actually saw this newswire they weren't so happy about that because again GTA 5 Expand Enhanced is like coming March 14th like three weeks away like we are less than 30 days now probably almost down to like 20 days less 
when not even getting any news, screenshots, first trailer, or nothing. And again, Rockstar could have just posted this newswire maybe this weekend, for an example, even though they're not working, or some other time, and had yesterday as something for GTA 5 Expanse. But no, it looks like Rockstar is holding back on not releasing any news right now until closer to the launch date, which, again, makes people way mad, and I don't blame them. Again, I don't know why Rockstar wants to waste this much time, but who knows? So I just want to let you guys know they, you know, made this newswire post about Circle Local Records, another label coming out, but nothing about the game that the community wants. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Poster channel for more videos like this. Again, hopefully you have a great weekend. My name is Puppy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.